Hey, if you're tired from paying monthly fee for the application you don't even own and want to find something better solution to Photoshop, then watch this video. So in this video, I want to kind of show you applications that are available currently. It's called Affinity and they have an Affinity Photo, Affinity Design and Affinity Publisher. And this is a very strong competitor to Photoshop, Illustrator and Publisher. It's what the, I think it's called in Photoshop in, in Adobe world. So the, why this application is better? Okay, let's look on a key point. Key point number one, you pay once and you don't in your own application forever. So you don't have this monthly fee. And, you know, sometimes I don't mind pay monthly fee, maybe for maintenance, for upgrades, but if you own application, you pay two years, for example, one year you pay for application, after one year you stop paying, you actually pay enough to buy this application and you still don't own anything. So technically to me, I'm very big opponent of the subscriptions. I don't like them. Okay. In fact, I hate them with passion. And sometimes corporations just take us and lock on this stupid, you know, um, constraint. You cannot go anywhere. So when some companies start creating applications, very good applications, and it's one single fee, I will support it with two hands up because I think this is the right way to go. And it's more thinking about creators. So it's the reason why I'm excited about this. And I did use it for some time. I use it photos and I use designer and a little bit on the publisher, not that much, honestly, but I will show you. And you know what, even make sweet so we deal with this specific with affinity it is right now they offer six month free i mean six month trial okay this is just only this six months you if you go try same park and adobe getting you will pay what is 25 30 dollars i think maybe even more right now <laughs> It's a price of application. Actually, this is much cheaper right now, even you buy all. And what I was meaning, look at this, it's 50% off for full package. And when you're getting a designer, again, everything, $82. Come on, it's a two months of payment in Adobe. You get it. But you know what? A lot of applications says, okay, this is how much you pay, but does it worth? You know, because so many applications there, this says how much it is worth. Well, <clears throat> let's look what is good about this and we'll look, we'll look first on affinity so right here I have it my affinity open and you know what let, let, for some reason it's just scale a little bit up let me go ahead and just scale a little bit down to fit our capturing screen there you go well I have it my image right here that I shot on um, Oogie Boogie at uh, Disneyland it was kind of fun you can see I'm Woody and Amy, my wife, she is the Jesse. So we had fun time with this on this. And this is just image. And you'll notice it is very similar to Photoshop. Some mm, controls a little bit different. You need to relearn those controls. However, you can go inside and modify them. But all functionality almost here. So let me show which stuff I like it and which I don't like it. And again, what I don't like, it's a personal preference and reason because I work with Adobe Photoshop from version two, I think from 1993 or so. Anyway, from long time ago, I was working with Adobe Photoshop. So I work for a long time. I'm very familiar with this application. And for me to switch to another one with a different key binding, it's kind of a little bit hard. However, it not actually that big deal because things everything is linked to the shortcut and if we're going to edit settings in the settings you have it options here with a shortcut you can go ahead and redesign them set as you like it or you can go and load files um they don't have the real official file to load for the illustrator photoshop everything but they have a very strong and nice community and i will drop link for you down below you can go to this forum on affinity and right here thanks to sami the posted file for example illustrator shortcuts and other people post other ones in this case all what you need to do it's going to the click on load from here point to this file preloaded and shortcuts will be there if you want to familiar with a specific 
applications as you're using. Well, uh, this is resolved. The next thing, what for me was a little bit different, it's position for the icons because you can notice right here they're using um, colorful icon in Photoshop. The more keeping depend on your set, it's maybe black and white and other things. So it's a little bit different interface as well. Some is key binding for me, for example, Alt and a scroll button in Photoshop. It's a zoom, and I always confuse with this because here you have it kind of rotate your canvas. So it's slightly different, but generic everything is look very similar. So if you come from another application like Photoshop, you actually have a very small learning curve. Curve will still be there, but it will be very small. So let me look very fast about this interface. On the top, as usual, you have a drop down with a very standard. By the way, this is a bit standard with a Microsoft. So you find this similar in every application. So I have to create new, save, all this blah, 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 all these other files to do. You also have your command, uh, um, edit commands, work with the text, work with the size of documents like rotate canvas so do all the stuff you have it your layers options here as well you notice you have it your layers brushes and everything windows inside you can manage it you can actually drag and put this in other areas for this we need just unlock and do all the stuff but in general what we can take we can take this and move re reposition whatever we want this okay and i'll just put it right here as well i can go and just move it in another screen so you can do all of this uh, changes if you need it and in some cases I think I can put it like on a bottom it's what I think Photoshop have because you have a preview and you have it down below there you have um, those layers they could modify you also notice on the bottom of the layers as we speak about layers you have options to do all this masking uh, adjustment layers so a very very similar interface which is kind of nice you don't have this relearning but keep in mind a little bit different um, because it's a different application. And of course, on top, you have your histogram, colors. I mean, very nice, very useful tools. Um, what is make different here from new Photoshop? For me, it is, uh, I become kind of like Photoshop AI, I tell you true. I know at first it was like a um, little bit awkward when they kind of learning but now it's quite a bit embedded in my work and i do like when i was retouching it saved a lot of time and i'll put a link down below for you video to see my workflow with new ai and by watching this video you can see how much it's influenced and it saved about 30 percent of my time now with new ai when i need to do compositing retouching or other things so it does it is good tool sadly in uh, infinity infinity they don't have anything like this and it's for the reason because photoshop does not using ai on your machine adobe photoshop it's connected their own servers where they have a huge with um nvidia i think it was big deal about this when adobe and nvidia sign up and install a bunch of gpus for that reason but they take your content they send out somewhere there on the service they process it and they send back and after they're going and um add all ei so i think it does not have this because well you pay once and you don't pay for service i wish they have it some plugin that you can use at your stable diffusion or you can use midjourney or some other service for this that will be nice if they have it some special plugin but from what last time i searched around this i cannot find any if you have it anything let me know i want to go see and experiment with this because it's i think it is benefit a lot of these applications but without even AI, it's a great tool and excellent working this way. So you'll find very familiar. I don't want to go and have it exactly video on all options. I will create the video of compositing and touching in Infinity Photo. Uh, hopefully that will help you to kind of understand how application work a little bit more. But this is in our future video. And for this, I would, if you're not yet subscribed, that is a best time to do this be sure to subscribe click this notification bell there's you know few people who actually do this but just click that one because new video come you will know where they are there and if you like the video thumbs up subscribe um you probably hear this from every youtube channel but it does help dramatically to youtube channel to grow to uh distribute videos and you know what appreciation of our people of your work it's worth a lot 
Well, okay, so right here you can see we have our affinity. Let's go back to this. And of course, you can go online help. You can go to video tutorials here, directly taking from affinity and learning, and they build the inside. So much, much easy and good to use. And let's look a little bit more about what you're getting here. So this is you're getting six months free trial. So for six months, you will know this application inside out. That is one of the generous, it's almost like give for free, yes? So it's kind of great. Beside that price, <laughs> I mean, this is $82 for three, not for one application, for all three, which is on a level of, I mean, Adobe. I mean, they, they're on the level. It's how they're doing. So right here, this is a great price. Okay, we have Affinity Photo Designer, very similar to Illustrator, how it's work. And your publisher, it is when you create um, like books, publishers, and publisher is what it is. So excellent application. I think excellent deal right now. So don't miss this. I will put it all links down below. I'm not affiliate with them. So I'm just, so I just, how say these guys, I will support with my two hands up because I think with their pricing model and the, how they pri everything, it is uh, very good for the creators who use this software. Well, thank you for watching. And remember, first, go check them out. It's free. Go download it. Play for six months. See if you like it. Great price. And let me know if you find anything with AI integrations inside the Affinity. Because I really, really want to do something, you know, see if it can be all the way 100% up to level of Photoshop. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See ya.